Okay, the Paul R. Cheeseboro uh, Salutatory Award is awarded each year to the member of the senior class who has demonstrated excellence and scholarship in a rigorous academic program over a three-year period. This year's Salutatory Award goes to Jun Lee Richard Chen, who I'll now introduce, uh, one of our most accomplished students, students, researchers, and leaders. Richard is nonetheless humble, level-headed, diplomatic, and kind. His natural gift for leadership has brought him to such roles as president of the Philosophy Club, captain of Hun's Pei fencing team, vice president of Hun's National Honor Society, editor of, editor of the Mall and Hun Review, and founding president of the Hun Research Team. Richard is also a highly talented musician, a two-year recipient of Hun's Best Jazz Soloist Award, and a recognized pianist and saxophonist. Richard certainly will make his mark when he enters the University of Pennsylvania this fall. On behalf of the faculty, I'm proud to present this year's Paul R. Cheeseboro Salutatory Award to Jun Lee Richard Chen. Step forward, Richard. Good morning and welcome, friends, dear family, faculty, and most importantly, my fellow classmates of the class of 2021. I'm extremely honored to stand here and deliver the salutatory address. Imagine waiting in the dark, soggy soil and waiting and waiting and waiting. And after 17 long, unconscious years, you suddenly crawl out from the dirt on a warm spring day. Automatically knowing what you have to do, you shout as loud as you can to declare your right to exist. It doesn't matter that you're completely defenseless against the feet or talons or beaks that might crush you at any given moment. It doesn't matter that people are afraid of you even though you're completely defenseless. It doesn't matter that your life is actually pretty pointless. By now, you probably guess what I'm describing. Yes, the cicadas. If you're listening intently right now, you can still hear them yelling. <laughs> These aliens with their kamikaze charges and their incessant shrieking will reach the end of their lives in four weeks, and we will be in our 30s when we see them again. But even so, the cicadas are crucial to us, not only supporting species in the ecosystem, but also nurturing the forests. They also led me to thinking about us, high school seniors who, like the cicadas, have just crawled out from the soil called Han and are getting ready to venture into the curious and unfamiliar world of adulthood. Now, remember that time when you used Chegg for a chemistry problem out of fear of losing points on your homework? Remember that time when you browsed through No Fear Shakespeare for English class, worried that you might fail that in-class essay? Remember that time when you decided to give up on an activity you love because it's too time consuming for school or it's simply not good enough for college application? As Mr. Sacco reminds us, we're often constrained by our pursuit of seemingly definite purposes, whether that be getting the perfect GPA, building the perfect resume, or getting into the perfect college. Despite being the land of choices where everybody's supposed to freely pursue their dreams, I find it ironic that we care so much about the final product that we ignore, that we only see the destiny and ignore the journey. Like the cicadas, we're emerging into a world full of uncertainties and adventures. However, amongst the seemingly fixed routes that apparently lead to successful futures, we, unlike the cicadas, have the freedom and consciousness to choose. Imagine if life isn't a definite path of following societal expectations. Imagine not having to care about elite schools, getting good grades, working for big corporations, and competing with everyone else your entire life. Imagine being able to do whatever you're passionate about and not caring about your parents' expectations. The tingling feeling mixed with excitement, fear, and temptation is the best evidence that our lives 
should be an adventure driven by passion rather than a predetermined script dictated by arbitrary standards. Now, I do admit that it's hard to deviate from the secure pathway to success, ignore the judgments and mocking of others. However, even the cicadas celebrate their existence through loud noises while they're still here. We must learn to say no to the boring and mediocre expectations. Learn to break out from the crazy rat race and embrace our passions. Learn to chase after our dreams despite the doubts of others. I'm talking about you, William Hugh, and how you can identify the style and historical period of any chairs created by mankind. I'm talking about you, Amar Nand, and how you can recall every single variation of the Queen's Gambit and beat me every single time. I'm talking about you, Rocco Matthews, and how you can imitate the on-guard stance of all the foil fencers on the national team. I'm talking about you, and Jian Shi, and how you can accurately analyze the pros and cons of chemicals in the cosmetic products before buying them. I'm sure that there's something that each and every one of us will pursue at all costs, whether it's calligraphy or mathematics, gaming or writing, music or chess. People may mock you for being a tryhard or a weirdo, but remember, don't allow these judgments and expectations to prevent you from living your life to the fullest. Congratulations to the class of 2021. In the future, you might feel helpless and without purpose for a while. You might feel isolated and lonely when embarking on unique adventures that nobody has set foot on. But always remember this, be like the cicadas. Shout your aspirations to the world, celebrate your passions, allow yourself to be vulnerable despite what others may think, and you surely will find a fulfilling path. Thank you. Thank you.